A day out at an art fair is an incredibly exciting thing. You're not just there to look at beautiful art, you're there to meet interesting new people, you're there to eat some delicious food, and you're there to feast your eyes. If the art season really starts at Freeze London, it then carries smoothly on to Paris with FIAC, which is modern and contemporary art fair, and then the whole art circus moves off to Miami where they have their sun, their beach, and their incredibly colorful and vibrant contemporary art, which is more alive in Miami than almost anywhere else in the world. When spring comes, you're back in London again with Photo London, which is a beautifully curated fair of art and fashion photography. At Bazaar, we used to sing fashion and photography blend together to make art, so the idea of photography as art for us is not a new one. But fairs like Photo London are really challenging people's perceptions and showing photography as art, which is spectacular. Freeze represents a week when the entire art world is galvanised in the city. I would say visit the Contemporary Fair first because that's the fair where art is being made today so you can see the very best of work from the past few years. Then I'd say visit Freeze Masters to capture some of the historical works that have influenced artists living today and you can see anything from ancient art up through to modern art. One of the tips I've picked up over the years, and you see collectors doing this, is to grab a map at the entrance and before going into the fair, circle which are the galleries and which are the projects you want to see first. And then once you've seen those highlights, then you can get lost and follow a more indulgent path. If you're a collector and you're interested in buying at the fair, I'd recommend taking one of our bespoke tours. These are tailored tours around the fairs where we make an introduction to an art world professional. So for example, if you'd like a tour in Mandarin or in Arabic, we can pair you with an art expert or an advisor, a curator, who can really put together the highlights of the fair, especially for you, thinking about your interests, perhaps your budget range. The dealers are the experts in these cases and you can ask questions about the provenance, where's the history of this work, where's it come from, what collections has it been in. All these things add value to the work and the dealer will tell you about that because that's the justification for the pricing. If you find a contemporary artist whose work you love and who you can talk to about their inspirations, you can talk to about what's making them create what you're enjoying on your wall. That's an incredibly rewarding relationship to have and that's something that Freeze and the other contemporary art fairs can really offer you if you start to have the courage to talk to the gallerists about the work they're representing.